Halloween heartthrob and that door is very distracting and creepy in the background. Hold on. All right, now that we're all comfortable, um, just ignore the gigantic mess of which my studio is. Um, I'll be cleaning it maybe after I get done with this video. Maybe. But today I have a ball jointed doll addicts prompt. Two of them, of course, number 21 and number 22. And we'll start off with number 21, which is the supernatural. Now, personally, I have not experienced anything supernatural with my dolls currently. In the Scary Stories video, I talk about porcelain dolls, but that was a long, long time ago, and that was more creepy than scary, and not necessarily a supernatural occurrence. So, Unfortunately for this episode, I don't have a story to tell. Um, however, um, I believe her name is Red Yumi? Yunmi? I, I don't know um, exactly, but I know it's R-E-D-Y-U-M-A? E? Ow. But she made a really good point uh, in saying that a lot of people find ball-jointed dolls really creepy uh, because they have human faces. Um, you don't hear about um, stuffed animals, uh, she said specifically bunnies, um, or other examples of bears, or like really cute things, uh, mostly baby dolls, porcelain dolls, ball jointed dolls, because they have more of a human face. So subconsciously, you know, we already interpret monsters as being more human-like, um, anything from aliens to slashers to ghosts, you know, of our own soul. Disfiguring monsters, even then, people perceive them as once being human, so there's still that human aspect to it or uh, connection. So I can definitely see how people in the ball-jointed doll hobby would find it creepy. However, I've heard people say that their dolls might move their remote or fall off the shelf. I do believe in ghosts. That's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. And because I don't have any supernatural occurrences or have had any supernatural occurrences with my ball-jointed dolls, I'll be moving on to number 22. Because I'm feeling 22. Ooh. I can't sing that anymore because now I'm 23 and nobody likes you when you're 23. And number 22 is the wait. Or what do you do while you wait? And the waiting, the waiting, the waiting, the waiting, the waiting! I pretty much do this. Are you there, God? And that's pretty much all I do. I even go on forums of other people, you know, how long it took them, or anybody who is ordering the same doll as me, you know, I go to their YouTube channel and I check their videos, see how long it took them. You know, even if it was like three years ago, I'll ask them, how long did it take you to get that doll? How long? How long? But yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I do. That and constantly check my order, but I didn't have any dolls in order to post that funny clip and that's pretty much it. You know, I'm still new in the hobby. I think I've only been in for a year, maybe a little more. So maybe more spooky things or weird things will happen and then I can actually start specifically talking about stuff. But until then, please like, share, and subscribe. Comments are always welcome. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, which all of the links will be posted down below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!